But rolling? Rolling. I'm really excited. We got our brand new Schultz oven. It's an upgrade from the other one that we have. We put some bricks in here, mm -hmm. all right? And you, put, and you put the torch on the bricks. Four people can pick this thing up. I think four. Okay, what am I doing? Got... And I can get you. It's just a leg. The strongest guy's behind the camera. That's the only issue. Okay. Here's one lifting half a car. <laughs> I'm really excited. We got our brand new Schultz oven. It's an upgrade from the other one that we have. And not only that, but we have Steven here, the owner. And he brought it personally to us, and we're really excited. So thanks for coming. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm really excited to give it to you guys. The, the work you do is just amazing. And to know that we're. We have an oven here helping you guys build some of these awesome creations. It's really good. Oh my God. Really fun to see. No, it means a lot. And um, we love thermoforming. It creates incredible like complexity. Now, I'm curious, what made you get into like the thermoforming business? You know? So I did a career change a little while back and I, I was looking for a, a new business to, to acquire. And these just seem really exciting to me. It's really basic technology. What's coming is the, the exciting part. I, I agree. I'm, I'm an engineer by trade, and so I'm looking to really bump these up and get these even uh, more advanced than they today. He likes to do R&D, so we can team up. He's an engineer. Um, I love engineering because I'm always figuring out how to do stuff, and that's what we do here. We got that 375. We got the fan clocked here. It's just barely, barely spinning per the directions from the ownership who created this company. So um, we're doing it. I'm excited to see this, the new oven, the wall, the thermoform form, the mold. We're going to talk about how this form was made. Now, it was made in the computer. Thank you, Carlo. Because right? he designed the slices. So he took the, he took the geometry in the 3D environment, let's say Rhino 3D, and then he sliced it. And you can see these ribs. Right? Those are all of the same radius. And then you just need a guide to guide them together. And that's how you create a curvature using straight parts. How do you make complex objects and how do you do it? Well, being able to bend, form, and create curvature is really part of realizing complexity. And you can do that with a great oven. A great oven, correct me if I'm wrong, is also about getting very balanced heat. Similar to baking, you kind of want to make it like very- You want to get the heat even, constant. Um, you need the material to be, uh, uh, it's got to soak in and penetrate the material. We love the new oven. It's a huge difference, and for lots of reasons. One, it just heats up faster. It's more balanced. We have a fan, and as well as it's 48 inches and 12 feet long. So, huge improvement. We're so excited about it.